It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show and we were a netball. My goodness me, the Southern Mallee Giants uh, have been celebrating, and why wouldn't you, after a big win in the A grade last weekend. Uh, some music to match the celebrations. Michaela George, how are you? Good, thanks, Jason. How are you? I'm good. Uh, and you girls should be celebrating. What a win last week against, well, the former Premiers. I, I think they're probably a shadow of that side at the moment. But regardless, you gave them a bit of a bare-bottom spanking. 59-29, to 29, doubled their score. Well done. Thanks so much. Yeah, it's, um, when you put it like that, it was uh, a very, very successful week right across the board. And um, credit to the girls. It was really, really good. After coming away from the weekend, we still have things to work on, but we're definitely um, very proud of where we are at, at the moment. Spoken like a true senior coach. I like it. Very diplomatically done. Well done. I've got to say, the rest of the club, though, how did uh, how did things go in the other senior grades for the Giants girls? Yeah, so our under-17s had a win, another win, which was um, absolutely tremendous. Um, our C grade had their first win for the season. And then our B grade, unfortunately, um, we had our goal shooter out, Meg Jewell from Finley. So she had a rest this week. They actually went down by... A couple of goals, a little bit disappointing, but definitely room there to work. There's nothing wrong with with the score, the final score that was there. So I think we went down by 10 or so goals. So a little bit of work there, but still very happy with everyone's performance right across the board on Saturday. Uh, Let's have a look at some of the other A-grade matches uh, before we turn our attention to the coming week. First of all, Horsham, they're top of the ladder at the moment, only on percentage from the Southern Mallee Giants, and they padded that percentage out with a huge 74-34 to win over Ararat. The margin here is probably a bit of a surprise. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Like I said, back on Good Friday, I went and watched Ararat and Stall, and um, I was quite impressed with Ararat and their tall goalies and defence. So I thought the margin between Horsham and Ararat was going to be a little bit closer than what it was. Um, Horsham's a very passionate, um, clean, well-oiled machine. So I'm looking forward to seeing both sides when we do come up against them. Mm, all right. Neil, they took on Dimbola at home, and it was Dimbola 49-30. to 30. Probably no surprises uh, here, even in the margin. Yeah, I, I did back um, Dimbola, as did you. Um, Neil's still got a young side and developing side. Credit to them, and I think we play Dimmy in the next couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to seeing their run and flow through the mid-court as well. Uh, and the closest match of the round was the Warwick Eagles over Stall, 51-44, just seven goals in it. And um, you, you picked that this would be a close one, and you were right. Yeah, I did pick that this one would be a close one. After seeing Stall Good Friday against Ararat, and then obviously playing Warwick the week before, I was very interested to see how this would pan out. Um, Stall have got quite a young array of um, girls playing there, and I did back them, and I thought they might have got up over the Warwick Eagles, but just with that um, maturity and that level headed of the Cozzy girls and Ashley McKenzie playing through the midcourt, I think that's what would have carried Warwick through, but forward to seeing um, Stall this week when we come up against them. Well, we'll get to that in just a moment. A quick check of the ladder. Um, it gives us the following. Horsham on top at the moment on percentage from the Southern Mallee Giants. Uh, the Giants have played one less game, of course, uh, but going beautifully at the moment. Uh, then we've got a bit of a log jam. We've got Stall and the Warwick Eagles on two wins. Dimbola and the Horsham Saints on one win each, along with Ararat, who are also on one win but have had two losses. So um, that uh, that group there is probably interchangeable. Minyup. Matoa, unbelievably, um, down the bottom of the ladder with nil, haven't had a win in three starts. So uh, a bit of a fall for grace from the uh, the reigning premiers. Yeah, definitely. They've definitely had a bit of a tough trot to the season. Um, they've had played probably the top three or four sides straight up. So that's um, obviously not put them in too good a stead. So I hope that their season does turn around for them and they get a couple of wins on the board because it's always nice playing that ball and, and having a win. Let's talk about your game this week against Stall. You will be heading off to Central Park and uh, you'll be going in with quite a bit of confidence against the Stall side who, uh, I guess, did that uh, last week. They stalled a little bit. Yeah, no, our first home and away game of this um, 2021 season. So we're heading down to Stall. Looking forward to it and hopefully we don't have to pack too many winter woolies this week. It will be very interesting to see how we do pan up against Stoll. We're coming in confident, but we're not coming in cocky. We've def- definitely got a lot of stuff that we still need to work on. Their goal in combination looks very, very strong. So it will be definitely a week for our defence to really step up. And um, after last week, we tried a fair few new combos in the Giants' clan. So 
it'll be nice to see if we can um, sort of put them into practice and have a bit more of a fiddle with the side as I've got a very versatile side this year with my squad of 10 and as does the C and the B grade. So it'll be very exciting to see um, maybe a different couple of little different plays unfold, Jason. Indeed. Well, good luck to the Orange Tsunami as it heads down the highway to stall. Look forward to talking about uh, the results with you next week. Uh, some of the a- other A-grade matches as we wrap up, and it's an interesting round this one, actually. The Horsham Saints host Neil. They'll start favourites there at Coglin Park, you'd think. Yeah, absolutely. I'll back in um, the Horsham Saints against Neil. Neil, I think, are just a little bit underdone at the moment. I think yeah, that the Saints will come away with the win this week. This next one should be a beauty. Dimbula, uh, they host Ararat, who will be smarting after last week's thrashing, but uh, they'll uh, they'll go in here thinking they're a chance against Dimbula. Absolutely. This could nearly be the um, game of the round, I think. It will be very close, my prediction is. I think, I think I'm going to have to back Ararat. I reckon they're going to come out really hungry after their loss, and I think that with their goal combination being quite tall. I just don't think Jimmy have enough to, to stop that powerhouse. And then we have the last match of the round at Anzac Park in Warwick Nabil. The Eagles there will welcome Horsham to town, who are flying at the moment, top of the ladder and smashing all comers. But can the Warwick Eagles at least make it close? Look, I'm hoping so, definitely hoping so. But I just think with Horsham's maturity and, and their level-headedness, I think that it will be a little bit too much um, for Warwick Eagles to take on in the defensive end. I think Horsham have a very strong goal in combination um, that will be quite challenging for anyone to shut down. I do wish our neighbours all the very best of luck because I do like to keep the wins as close as possible to home. So um, I, I do do wish Warwick all the very best, but I think Washington will just be that little bit too strong. Uh, should be an interesting round in Wimmera Netball and good luck to the Southern Mallee Giants against Stall and to you as well, Mickey. Thanks for joining us here on uh, the Flow Friday Night Sports Show. Thanks so much, Jason. Thanks again for having me. And all the very best, Giants. Drive safe to stall, and I'll see you there ready to rock and roll. Go, Giants.